one of this year's Royal Ascot meeting kicks off with the Queen Anne Stakes, won in tremendous style 12 months ago by Ribchester. Ribchester and William Buick are the Queen Anne winners. This year's contenders are headed by Aidan O'Brien's lock-inch heroine, Rhododendron. Lightning Spear nearest to us with Oshin Murphy has come to join Rhododendron and Ryan Moore. These will fight it out. Dark blue is Rhododendron. Nearest to us is Lightning Spear, who's beginning to get up as they race towards the line. Oh, Rhododendron and Lightning Spear, it's tight. Side Bin Saror's Ben Battle is already a Royal Ascot winner, having landed last year's Hampton Court Stakes and is a proven Group 1 performer following his recent win in the Dubai Turf. Godolphin lead from Bally Doyle up towards the line. Ben Battle, Order of the Garter, and Ben Battle sees them off in the Hampton Court. French raider Recoletos was a winner of the Group 1 Pre Dispahan last time out and has experience of the track, finishing fourth to Cracksman in last season's Kitco Champion Stakes. Narrowly denied in the lock inch, David Simcock's admirably tough and consistent lightning spear returns for another crack at this famous prize. Could it be third time lucky? Beat the Bank failed to settle in both the lock inch and the QE2, but had a very progressive profile prior to that, rattling off a pattern race treble, culminating in the Group 2 Joel Stakes by five lengths. What a horse he is, Beat the Bank. He just can't help himself, making massive progress all year, and he wins again. The first juvenile contest of the meeting sees Aidan O'Brien bid for a fourth win in eight years, with his team headed by Sergei Prokofiev. However, Ballydor's second strings have won this before, and the Irish Rover was an unlucky loser over this course and distance last month, before returning to England for a ready Newbury maiden win. The Irish Rover and Ryan Moore have cleared away, gone on by two. Barbell is finishing to challenge off Murray's Diamond, but only for second place, the Irish Rover the winner. John Gosden introduced a potentially smart son of Kingman at Newmarket 10 days ago in the shape of Calix, who routed a field of good-looking maidens. A half furlong to go, and the son of Kingsman is pulling clear. It will be Calix to win on debut. Owner John Dance is having a great season courtesy of the French Oaks winning Philly Lawrence and has another nice prospect in Cosmic Law who bounded clear of his rivals for a six-length success in Epsom's listed Woodcut Stakes. Cosmic Law is stretching away in the closing stages here under PJ McDonald for trainer Richard Fahey and Cosmic Law by a clear margin. Advertise bids to give Martin Mead a fine start to his tenure at the historic Manton Stables with a Royal Ascot victory. The form of this son of showcasing's Newbury maiden success was franked when the third and fourth won on their next starts. As they have 100 yards to go, Pogo has joined Burge. Advertise the near side coming home very strongly. They hit the line. Advertise. Carl Burke holds Shine So Bright in very high regard, and this son of Oasis Dream made no mistake on debut at Newbury nine days ago. Shine So Bright, bred for further, was more than good enough to win over the minimum trip today. The second of three Group 1s on the card is the King Stan Stakes, won in devastating fashion 12 months ago by Lady Aurelia. And Wesley Ward's daughter of the Tsar of the Moment, Scat Daddy, is back for more. Lady Aurelia down the centre in the white and green colours. She's going away at the end. Lady Aurelia and John Velasquez. Oh, she's one by two or three in great style. Batash was operating at listed level 12 months ago before capping a fine season with victory in the Group 1 Prix de Labbe and warmed up for this by winning Haydock's Group 2 Temple Stakes last time out. Batash rallies well toward the line. Katri and Batash ahead of Washington DC at the finish. Maybe just Batash getting up. Charlie Appleby's Blue Point took the notable scalp of Harry Angel here last May before finishing third behind that rival in last year's Commonwealth Cup and again was successful here, albeit a Group 3 level in October. Blue Point drifts towards the stand side rails inside the closing stages. He's two lengths ahead. Projection is out after him as they run the waterline. Blue Point in front. Projection is closing, but Blue Point and William Buick have won. Aidan O'Brien's ever popular Washington DC only has a head to find with Batash on Temple Stakes running and was himself a Royal Ascot winner in 2015 when landing the Windsor Castle Stakes. Whilst Temple Stakes third catchy is right back to the source of form that saw him beaten only a length in the 2016 Commonwealth Cup over a furlong further than ideal. 
The catch here, the near side rails, the Blue Jack in Washington DC. Quiet Reflection comes through between the pair of them as they race towards the line. Quiet Reflection, she done it, she won. The final Group 1 of the day sees a fascinating clash of potential over proven Group 1 form. John Gosling's without parole had to overcome more than a moment's worry before landing the odds in the listed Heron Stakes at Sandown, but is now unbeaten in three career starts. But without parole finding a bit more up the hill, without parole goes on from Gabba and Vintager and close to the finish, without parole will win. The Roger Teal train tip to win had none other than a derby winner, Massar, ahead behind him when outrunning his 50 to 1 odds in the 2000 guineas, with Dancer Hero and Derby third, Roaring Lion, back in fourth. Tip to win is staying on in the closing stages. Heading up the wall to line, now it's Saxon Warrior in front from Roaring Lion. Tip to win, Massar behind him, but Saxon Warrior has won by a length and a half with Donica O'Brien to tip to win Massar Elikam and Roaring Lion. Aidan O'Brien's US Navy flag was himself a classic runner-up when chasing home Roman eyes in the Irish 2000 Guineas last time out, but is yet to recapture the form that saw him land a rare Middle Park Dewhurst double in 2017. It's US Navy flag and Ryan Moore in front, and they're safely clear. Mendelssohn in second place, also in Derek Smith's colours. US Navy flag has made most to win. Ken Condon's Roman eyes belied his 25 to 1 starting price when winning the Irish 2000 Guineas, and like Tip to win, his form ties in closely with Derby hero Massar, having finished runner up to the Godolphin runner in last season's Solario stakes, as well as being beaten narrowly in last season's Coventry stakes. Massar for Godolphin, who leads here from Romanized, then Arbele, and it's going to be Massar to win the Solario Stakes. Massar has beaten Romanized. Another Ballydor leading contender comes in the shape of Gustav Klimt. Anti post favourite the week before the 2000 Guineas, he has now met with defeat in two classics. However, he has time on his side and was a game winner of the Group 2 Superlative Stakes at Newmarket as a juvenile. They've got a furlong to go. They're spread far and wide here in the superlative. Nebo with Gustav Klimt sprinting. Great perspective from the back of the field. Gustav Klimt, is he going to pull it out of the bag? It's going to just be Gustav Klimt. What a tremendous... Willie Mullins has won two of the last three renewals, and this year, perhaps his best chance lies with Cesarowicz third, Lagos to Vegas. Mullins runs five in all, and Christoph Sumion is a very eye-catching booking for Whiskey Sour, who won two handicaps at last season's Galway Festival and was a good third back over hurdles in the county hurdle. So Michael Stout saddles a leading contender in the lightly raced six-year-old Danny Day, who put in a most pleasing appearance at Goodwood last month following nearly two years on the sidelines. Look My Way won the Chester Cup consolation race, the Chester Plate, last month with another of today's rivals, the Alan King-trained Coeur de Leon, who now enjoys a two-pound pull close up in second. They've got 200 yards to cover it. Look my way. Down the outside, Coeur de Leon is fairly thundering home. Look my way. Coeur de Leon is inching closer. The post is coming. Look my way from Coeur de Leon. Look my way takes the 188 bet Chester plate from Coeur de Leon. The Owen Burroughs trained La Rave takes a drop in class today, having finished runner up in the Group 2 Brigadier Gerard Stakes at Sandown last time out. La Rave is battling back on the far side. The Poet's Word looks to have his measure up the hill. 